guys, it's Jason here. Welcome to another episode of the Oak Mountain ACOTS. If you're new to the channel, I'd encourage you to take a look back at some of our other videos to see what types of things we're doing here in Oak Mountain. It's pretty cool. And if you're a returning viewer, thanks a lot for coming along with us and helping us grow the channel. Did you know that over 80% of the viewers on our videos are not subscribed to the channel? What's up with that? It's free and it's kind of fun to hit that little button. So I'd encourage you guys to uh, subscribe to the channel and keep up with what we're doing here on the mountain. Anyway, um, if you've watched the previous video, you know that I'm working on yet another spur road down through a hardwood stand. Um, I like to put these little roads in so that I can get the equipment in without damaging it. We normally go after the uh, lower grade trees and try and leave the best for the future. And uh, in this case, I noticed that there's a lot of maple trees around us here that are pretty close to the right size for tapping uh, to get some maple syrup uh, next year. So this is going to uh, this is going to be really beneficial to get this road down through. Anyway, we've got the B2601 Kubota tractor hooked onto the T1750 Cranman hydraulic log trailer, and we're going to get a load of wood out. Stick around.
That's quite a jag of wood. Let's see if we can get out to the yard. Okay guys, we made it back to the yard in one piece. We were two kilometers back in the woods, so it was quite a trip. Um, the Kubota B2601 is the perfect match for that T1750 Cranman hydraulic log trailer, in my opinion. It handled it with ease. I only had to use the four-wheel drive on the trailer coming up out of my spur road. As soon as I get on some of my better woods roads, I put the tractor in four-wheel drive. I took the trailer drive out of gear and uh, the tractor handled it with ease. I didn't even have to put the differential lock in. Anyway, it's a beautiful afternoon here. I think we're gonna hang right with it and get this firewood processed because I don't want to handle it any more than I have to. Okay guys, so that's gonna wrap up this episode of the Oak Mountain Acots. We get a nice little bunch of wood out of the woods today, and there's more back there for us to go get, so uh, we'll probably be looking at doing that uh, in the coming days. If you've been watching our channel and coming along with us for the ride, thank you very much. We appreciate your support. And if you're a new viewer to this video, check out some of our previous videos and see what we're up to here in Oak Mountain. And remember, it doesn't cost a thing to subscribe, and we'd love to have you along for the ride here in Oak Mountain. So like I always say, if you like the videos, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, share them with your friends and family and help us grow the channel. And come on back and check on us often because you never know what the Oak Mountain Acots are going to be up to next. See you in the next one, guys. Bye.